In the depths of modern computing lies the Linux kernel. This core component orchestrates the complex dance between hardware and software. As the heart of the operating system, the kernel commands an intricate symphony of tasks handling system calls, memory management, device driver interactions, and network protocols. The kernel is meticulously ensuring stability and efficiency in a system that never stops. However, here lies some problems. Development and changes to the kernel are seldom and require long innovation cycles. This means if you want to change the way in which the kernel behaves, you'll have to make your case with this guy. But why would you even want to change the kernel anyway? Well, since the kernel is at such a low level, it's able to see granular details such as unauthorized access to files, unusual network activity, or even traces between system calls to understand application performance. This is all super useful, but hard to capture. Applications we build to open files, make HTTP requests, etc., all operate in user space, which cannot perform these actions without communicating to the kernel in the first place through system calls. So how do we access this information stored down in the kernel? Enter eBPF, also known as the Extended Berkeley Packet Filter. eBPF loads programs from user space in the kernel without breaking the kernel itself or having to modify its source code. Under the hood, eBPF programs are compiled into a bytecode that the kernel's eBPF virtual machine executes. These programs are verified for safety and performance before they run. The eBPF VM uses a just-in-time compiler to convert the bytecode into native machine code for efficiency. This allows for high-performance, dynamic instrumentation and monitoring of the kernel and applications with minimal overhead. If you wish to monitor and visualize this data without having to write your own programs itself, I recommend checking out open source tools like Grafana Bewa. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.